<laughs> hey, hey, Danny, how are you today? All right, cool. Yeah, I'm great. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you. So, guys, how was your day so far? Not bad. Not bad. Um, my just... my girlfriend just found a a sick rabbit that she's taking to a rescue. So, oh. there's that. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. So, guys, Idol on your new single is scheduled to be released mm -hmm. on March 4th. Can you tell me yeah. a bit about this song, the songwriting behind this one? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll start. Um, <clears throat> so, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a particularly heavier song, um, especially with the tuning, since it's a, it's a very low tuning. It's, it's double drop D. Um, you know, it's a whole octave down from from regular drop D, which is, uh, yeah, you don't really hear many many bands using. Um, and um, I don't know. I just I feel like I had a lot of fun writing the instrumentals for it, and it just, uh, um, you know, it was just something natural that came to me, and it was just simple. And um, you know, we revised it a few times, but instrumentally, like it was, just, it's just a fun song for us, and I think it's. Um, you know, something that we've, that we've really all enjoyed. And I personally, it's, it's one of my favorites on the album, um, you know, our upcoming album and everything. And um, it's, you know, it's just, it's, it's unique. It was different writing with such a low tuning, um, but it was, it was a lot of fun. That's for sure. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so the song wasn't originally on the, supposed to be on the album at all. Um, Cody had a, uh, written it by himself and uh there was no lyrics to it or anything he put the music video out by himself and uh we were having tr troubles with an with another one of the of our songs and we decided to remove that one and add that one on and uh cody proposed that idea to me and i was and i was like well hell yeah i love that song i just didn't know that was on the that was ever on the table yeah. uh on the album so um when he when he brought that up i was like oh cool so i went and listened to it you know a few more times and i was like okay i don't want this to have any singing <laughs> even though we're trying to incorporate like a good amount of singing into the album where, wherever we could you know wherever it felt natural this one i was like no nah. i was like we're, we're just gonna go like balls to the wall on this one um so, so then i got in there and just started doing my thing and there was a there was a lot of back and forth with with uh actually all of us like tony actually contributed to the um to um the writing on that one as well not so much um with his words but uh, just his contribution to it he was just kind of giving us uh, his ideas and th and that was one of the first uh times that tony like was really like a um <laughs> uh contributor uh, as as much as so far as just like you know um because everything else was done so that was one of the first things that tony could actually help us out with which is which is pretty cool and uh i had a lot of a lot of uh i had a good time writing writing it i was uh, i was really channeling like all the, all the feelings that it was giving me uh, from from Cody's uh, writing on it, and uh, like I said, we had some back and forth on it, but we ended up, uh, you know, making it really good, and uh, it was really fun to play live. And uh, I, I love the song. And I know that we all, I, I feel like we all feel the same on it, and it's been a uh, it's been a really really cool one. And with that being our our first video together too, it, it's just uh, it's unreal how much that song means to us. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. <clears throat> and uh, the upcoming album Dream State is to be out on mm -hmm. March 25th. So, how is the uh, total songwriting and the production behind it? Now, how do you feel about the outcome of this upcoming album? Um, <clears throat> this album, it's been, you know, I, I started this whole project. Yeah, I started Still Night, pretty much everything, long long before Tony and Danny joined in. Um, mm -hmm. It's been man. This it's this album is taking. It's take, it took so long for me to write originally, and you know there were still so many changes made after Tony and Danny came in. Mm -hmm. um, it took you know it took me I think I want to say with everything total, it took me about three and a half or four years to write this album. You know it's um, it's a long album. You know it's it's a fourteen track album. It's almost an hour long. It's it's not something that's just like here's a ten song album that's you know thirty five minutes or whatever. It's mm -hmm. <clears throat> It's something that you know I've put definitely a lot of work into writing and and developing my guitar writing and, and you know and, and skills over the years and um and then with with the way that uh, don't Danny <laughs> sorry with Danny and Tony when they came in um I feel like that's just it, it, it 
it excelled the album so much farther than it possibly ever could have gone. Um, you know, we, as soon as I found Danny, I think from the day I found Danny to when we completed the album, it was, I want to say five, six months, maybe if, if that, when we finished, you know, writing vocals and finishing up songs and changing riffs and, you know, revising everything. Um, but it's just, it's been a fun experience and it, this whole album means, I know, I know to them, I'm not going to speak for them explicitly, but you know, to them and especially me, like it, it means so much to us. And, um, you know, it's just been, it's been a very long time coming and to see, you know, to see all this hard work come to fruition is just, it's, it's beyond, it's beyond enlightening to say the least. So. Yeah. And it's been pretty wild for me coming into this too, you know, like, uh, you know, I've been wanting to join a band for a long time and coming into it and being like, oh yeah, we already have, you know, a full length album done. I was like, okay, hell yeah. And then uh, I remember the first night they officially made me a member and he sent over the, the whole album. I listened to it like three times in a row and I was just blown away by how amazing it was. Yeah, and that was before we even had vocals on everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And yeah, Dream, Dream State is just like the appropriate name for this album for us because, it, you know, for Cody, it's been like a, an ongoing thing um, yeah. as far as the work he put into it. And then for, for me and Tony and just and all of us in, in general, it's just been like this is such a, a dream come true for all of us. I mean, it, we, we all we've all pictured doing music for a really long time yeah. and just like being able to do this together and for Cody to see it come into fruition yeah. and like take that extra step that he needed to get to and then for us to find each other to kind of like finally find the pieces where we can actually do this is it's just it's unbelievable amazing amazing guys and uh, was there any particular concept that was put behind this album um i i would say probably more along the lines of um dealing with like mental health issues and you know just dep depression especially um that and just overall melancholy and sorrow mm -hmm. um <clears throat> just because a lot of the way the background ambience plays into you know the the, the riffs and, and the vocals of each song it it envelops some emotions that especially i feel like um have not been touched on in you know with larger bands and I think it's I think it's something special to us too because it's you know we, we've all dealt with s some of these issues in some form mm -hmm. or another and um it's just been a way to kind of express that but you know it, a healthy way to express that which is you know obviously always the best way and um I, I don't know it's just it's just it's just hard to find words sometimes that describe this album it's just it means so many things to us and it's um yeah, you know, there's there's so many things behind it in each song. I feel like, you know, it can be interpreted in so many different ways, and just how open it is. And um, I mean, I, I just to say the least, I think it speaks for itself. To say, so, yeah, I mean, like a lot a lot of it is like based on like a sorrowness kind of kind of thing, but then also like the trials that you that you face when you are going through it, like the ups, the downs, mm -hmm. um, to every every which way that you can that you can feel or think as you're going through something like that i think that's just like majority of what the album's about it's it's there's a lot of different you know p uh, parts and pieces that go into it mm -hmm. um but with the uh, with the sound of the instruments and 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 how everything came together like instrumentally um i wanted my my words and you know cody wanted his words to match that so we wanted to just kind of like hone in on the like feeling that the album gives you instrumentally and kind of just ma make that really like pop. <clears throat> and uh, you had released two more singles earlier, Lustral and Solstice, two amazing singles already. And already the the effect of the album is coming into our head, like, oh, I can't wait to listen to the entire album. So how, how do you feel about the... Uh, uh, release of this and how how do you, how, how do you have any plans to release more singles before the album is out um yes uh <clears throat> i mean uh, eidolon as of right now i think the the plan is that eidolon is going to be the the last single before the mm -hmm. album comes out um 
you know, with Solstice being very melodic and Torchbearer being almost the opposite, being barely, you know, having barely any melodic parts and just being as a, a really heavy song. Um, and and Eidolon being kind of to kind of a mix of the two. I think we felt like those were a, some strong singles to give give this album a basic representation of what it is and to really get the full grasp of dream state you you have to listen to it you know it's it's it, it's so diverse there's so many different types of songs we have so you know we have some super heavy songs we've got heavy songs like torchbearer we've got some songs that are like uh solstice but you know a little bit different of course and um you know we have some almost like ballad type songs which is a little bit different for us but we you know we had fun writing it and we just enjoy them and um you know there's there's some really unique songs on the album and like the the last few songs in the album i think they completely changed the mood of how someone would see this album and, and how you would feel listening to while you're listening to this album just because those three i feel like the last three songs specifically um they set a really strong brooding and and overall uh, you know melancholy mood to that, that makes you think about just you know anything in general especially you know specifically your own emotions and everything and, um but i but i really think that three singles that we we have released and you know are going to release with Eidolon, it's oh, excuse me pardon me <laughs> um i think it's just a strong and short representation of what this album will be yeah it does really give you like a good idea of what we have to give like spoiling anything you know it's like it's like we, we it also gives you like something to look forward to when you when you get into the album like like with, with all the singles we've we've released and how different they all are from each other and and like what it shows how, what it shows like how much we're capable of and it really makes you I, I think it makes you like want to like go further and see what else is there wonderful wonderful and uh, any plans on the day of the release um yeah right now we're uh we're we're planning you know a mini release tour that that whole weekend mm -hmm. um not not everything's locked in yet um <clears throat> but i can say we do have a show locked in for march 27th in seattle washington at uh the fun house at el corazon in downtown downtown seattle so you know we're playing we're playing with some amazing bands so um you know we can't wait for that and it's it's going to be such a fun weekend we're still getting the other shows booked but um we'll, we'll i feel a feeling we're going to get those booked within the next few days and it, it's going to be it's going to be such a fun weekend for those so wonderful. wonderful yeah wonderful and the band was formed back in 2018 so uh, how can, can you tell me how we guys got together and you all three have a rhyming name Danny, Cody, and Tony. So, how is this company happen? <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, it um, you know, it originally started with me. I was just, I was just writing, and um, you know, you can see on our Spotify and YouTube and everything. Uh, the Solstice was originally released at the you know the end of 2019, um, and I had finished Solstice. I think about a year prior, um, but that was really the turning point that. There, something I don't know whenever I finished that song even if it was just like the basic instrumentals of it something just clicked within and it was like all right this is going to be the start of this band and this project and and what has come to be and and everything so far oh, excuse me and you know through then I just kept working on it and obviously writing the album over the next couple of years um but I actually it's it's kind of funny because I found both uh, Tony and Danny through uh, through Facebook like metal groups, <laughs> um, you know, which is a it's a very unconventional way to find to ba find band members. But um, you know, I'm I'm very lucky and extremely grateful because they they share the same drive and passion that I do, and I feel like we just you know we gel so well together. And like every time we've we've been together, whether it's been for our show back in January. Um, or the music videos that we shot last year um, we just we get along so well and we just have fun and you know nothing's like taken personal or anything like that it's just we, we I personally feel like these are 
almost more family than my actual family, you know, between Tony and Danny. Um, and I'm just, I'm just grateful for that. And I'm grateful that I've met them and, you know, they, I've gotten, you know, we've gotten way farther than I ever could have by myself with, with these two. So I'm just, I'm just grateful to have them on. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And uh, how has the musical journey been for you guys so far? It's been crazy. Um, like, I feel like all of us, like the stuff we went through was kind of leading to this point. Um, and it, it's crazy just to think about that. Like, Cody and Tony have actually like done like live for live performances uh, before and like been with bands before and I haven't I've I've only just like ever just been a fan of music and I've just been a lover of like concerts and you know practicing uh, vocals and uh, I you know I fell in love with um, with metal and and with the art of screaming and thought you know at one point I was like I should do something more with this because I feel like I'm gonna regret it if I don't. So then I, you know, I got my own recording equipment and then I started and I got in touch with a guy in a studio to uh, uh, help me record and uh, an another guy to get some instrumentals from and just kind of, you know, start piecing my, my stuff together. And I started kind of making my own thing um, just on the side. And then uh, when Cody uh, messaged, <laughs> uh, posted in the group about needing, needing a vocalist, um, I, I was like, yo, I got you. <laughs> I was just sending the stuff that I'm working on. And it's crazy to think about all that stuff. Like if, if you didn't do one particular thing, like, like this, none of this would have happened. So it's just, uh, it's wild to think that everything like kind of worked out how it did. And, you know, Tony was available when we, when we needed him and you know, Cody didn't find, you know, didn't find somebody else or choose somebody else. It's just, it, it feels like it all came together perfectly. Yeah, I have the same kind of story as Danny. I was just doing my own, uh, you know, self-produced uh, instrumental music, and I just posted on uh, that Facebook metal group we had, and um, the only person who messaged me back was Cody, and he messaged me back, like, within an hour, and, yeah. you know, we had a FaceTime call, and, like, within the first hour of us talking, it was like, oh, yeah, no, this is it. We both have the same drive, the same passion, the same yeah. taste in music. And just from the start, like, we all just kicked it off perfectly. And we're all, like, best friends just immediately. And it's the greatest thing. Amazing. Amazing. And uh, would you guys like to share some of the great moments that you had? Um, <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, <laughs> when we were filming our music videos back in uh, November of 2021, um, that was the first time we had actually all gotten together in person and everything. And it was, um, it was a fun time. And we, we had fun shooting the videos, you know, Eidolon and, and Solstice and everything. Um, but I think the most memorable trip or part of that trip, um, which is what really sold this whole band for, for each of us, I, I think is we, we stayed up. Uh, I think we got back to our hotel at, man, I want to say like, yeah, like nine or 10 at night or something. And mm -hmm. we'd stayed up and, and Danny brought this card game called Coup. And we had stayed up, you know, for a little bit playing, I think it was like maybe a couple hours. And then, mm -hmm. um, cause you know, we had to take Danny back to the airport pretty early. It was like four or five in the morning when we had to take him back. And um, so we're just like, you know what, we'll just, we'll just stay up and play it a little bit longer. And, and I think f three or four hours later is by the time we realized like, oh no, we got to go to the airport. Mm -hmm. and, but during, but you know, during those, that whole time playing Coup, um, we really just developed a bond, even though it's just a, a, a fairly simple deception card game. Mm -hmm. um, we just developed a bond that I I feel like I haven't really had before with with really anybody, and that was probably one of my favorite moments because it was just pure joy and pure fun. There was nothing you know, there's nothing hostile about it. Um, not a hostile in like a bad way, you know, hostile in like deception way because it's a deception card game. But <laughs> but other than that um you know it was it was just it was just pure fun and you know we all enjoyed it and we were it, we were i feel like we were all pretty upset when we had to take danny to the airport that early in the morning because we we're just like damn we just want to keep playing more more coup and everything and just staying up and you know we were we were all fairly exhausted because at that point we'd probably been up for close to 24 hours you know <laughs> so um but, but for me i think that was the moment that sold me on these guys and that you know this 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 isn't just going to be like, you know, a bedroom project or an online band. Like it's, it's going to be something more than that. And that these guys are for in it for real. And, you know, they're going to be my friends for a very long time. And that, you know, I'm, I'm very okay with that. Amazing. Amazing. And it's like the 
constant laughing, like just laughing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had to put our cards down and stop playing because we were, we just, we were all dying laughing, could not stop. And it's like, it, it's such, it, like Cody said, it was just such a bond. And it just like, it felt more, it was like way more than business. It's like, this is like a best friend uh, thing, even though we had just met Tony. Like, <laughs> just, yeah. I've never, I've never come to in, like enjoy someone, uh, someone's time so quickly as then. Like, I had only met Cody in person twice, one, once or twice. I think once before, yeah. It's, yeah. So then just, you know, this, these guys who I've, ne- I've never hung out with, it, it feels like, you know, we've been friends forever. It was just, <laughs> it was just in- insane. Amazing, amazing. And uh, what would be the big dreams for the band? I feel like there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, there's, I don't know, man, I don't even know. Collaborating with, uh, with, uh, with all the musicians that we love. I mean, just a, that's a big one. It's just, I, I remember being the, the guy in the stage that was looking up at, at them. Like, I would love to be up there. I would love, like, I, I would see uh, vocalists hop on stage to to feature for another for another band. And it was like, I would love to do that. I, I would love for that to happen for us. Um, and just, you know, just to be able to to tour with, with other bands that are like, like-minded as us and be able to, to like share that experience with them. And then just to like, get our music out there and make, make people feel something like the way that we, that we've always felt when, when we were that, that person in, in the crowd. Yeah. It's yeah. I'd say those are some pretty big points. And um, for me personally, I'd say just, you know, if, if I'm able to pay the bills, like that's, that's all I care about. I, I, you know, if I don't, I don't have to make money. I just want to be able to play the bills and play music for a living. Um, you know, it's, it's something that I've been, I feel like I've been working towards my whole life, even though I haven't been, it's only, you know, it's only been the, probably the past like six years. Um, but yeah, I mean, I want, I want to take this band as far as possible. And it's regardless of kind of what we do. I just, as far as we can go and as much as we can do, that's all I, that's all I want to do and just write music and play music as much as I can. Yeah. Just to be able to like, replace our nine to fives with something like this, you know, it's like, we not, neither of the three of us want to, have a regular job and then do this on the side we want this to be our everything we want this to be like what we do until we're 70 <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah One, yeah yeah i couldn't have said it better myself i mean and just like the opportunity to be able to travel and play music and connect with our fans and you know make memories with people and just you know just do this crazy thing called life with the homies and just you know take this as far as we possibly can play as many shows as we possibly can put on as many new albums and music and just, you know, whatever we could do to grow this thing. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, moving forward, do you guys be doing more experimentation to the music? I know the current music is totally amazing with a lot of accumulation and progression, but do you take a mile apart and do something different from what you do currently? Um, as far as Still Night goes, um, I'm, I'm kind of experimenting with uh, with a few different things for us in the future. Um, I'm still kind of working on it, so I haven't really talked about it much or really shown it to many people at all. Um, but I'd say, you know, it's wherever we go is wherever we go, you know, and especially with, you know, with our current album, Dream State, I don't think we're necessarily trying to stay within the defined genre or anything. You know, we say we say ambient post metalcore for us, but that's more of just a... Uh, a generic label if you will yeah. um it's it's more to describe the music than to define it if that makes any sense um but with future stuff it's i think it, whatever whatever we're feeling and whatever we can come up with and you know whatever we love is is what we're going to produce and what we're going to put out and um yeah i'm excited for kind of what we have in the future because we we don't really have much right now so i'm excited to see where it goes and I think there's, you know, there's so much room for growth and possibility and just just anything else in general. So um, I'd say there's definitely room for experimentation and seeing, you know, just it, it just depends on what we can come up with and what we like and what we don't like. So, yeah, just just like um, not being pressured to change, 
but also not feeling like we're going to be put in a box where we can't do something different. It's just like whatever we mm-hmm. like, we're going to do whatever we feel. We're gonna, we're going to make the music that we want to make, and we and we just hope that our fans are going to be along for the ride on that. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. And uh, do you have plans to bring in more members, or you just want to keep the band as trio and adding touring members? Um, I think for now, it's just going to be us three solidified, you know, as the solid members, um, you know, where we're obviously our main concern is, you know, drummers for, for touring members. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that might be the plan for now. Um, you know, I don't, we haven't really entirely talked about it too much. Mm -hmm. You know, we would obviously like to have a drummer, um, but we're gonna we're gonna take our time with with finding somebody else and finding the the right person for us and um, you know finding somebody who's as dedicated as we are and you know yeah. willing to put in as much as we are and have already. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I'd say for now it was it's just gonna stay us three. But you know, there's definitely room for growth in the future. You know, it's t- today is today and tom- tomorrow's a new day and you, you never yeah. know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So. If anything, we might have a, a six-piece band tomorrow. Probably not, but it is possible. So, I mean, we, we just, we don't know, to, to say the least. Yeah, yeah, you know, we, we got such a tight circle right now, and, you know, uh, we're all, we've meshed together so perfectly. We don't want to bring somebody in, in in a hurry, you know, and risk uh, ruining that, that connection that we all have together. You know, we want to take our time. If we bring somebody in, they're going to be vibing with us 100%, you know, like they're going to be, having the same kind of fun we have, you know, have the same ideals, the same drive and the same passion. So we're totally fine with taking our time on that and just having touring members for now. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. And uh, guys, uh, finally, what would be the message you want to give to the fans and the people who are new to Still Night? Um, we hope you like the album. Um, there's gonna be more. There's gonna be more where that came from, and then more where that came from, and the more you know, it's like we're just gonna keep yeah. keep on moving. Um, we're gonna try to play as much as possible. Um, you know, put out put out as much as much music as we can, without mm-hmm. you know feeling like we're over like where we're like putting out too much. Um, and we're gonna just um, consistently get better. I think um, I think one thing for me, what I told Cody is like I think my writing is just gonna keep getting better and better, and then. I know Cody and Tony here, like they have, uh, they have more work to to do with um, with their with their uh, respective um, parts of the band, you know. And I, I have a lot to learn from Cody, and uh, I think we have a we all, we all have a lot of growing to do to do together. Um, so we hope that you know whoever is here now will you know be along for the ride on all that and and be able to witness that and uh, and be able to take away you know what we're trying to what we're trying to um, give through the. Uh, through all the music yeah i I mean i I would probably say something along the lines of um you know our 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 music may be expressive but it you know it doesn't define who we are and it it doesn't define who we are but it may be a part of us and you know it's it's maybe it's something that's probably a part of you or somebody else and um, you know, we've experienced it. We've been through it. We've been there. It may not be the exact situations of everybody else because it's always going to be different. But you know, we we understand um, you know the hardships that people go through, and, and the love and loss and and everything that people deal with. And you know, we're, we're we're people too. You know, we're not trying to do this for any sort of you know for for the money to say the least. Um, it's. And I feel like this is something that I can kind of speak on for for all of us when I say this. And you know, if if we never see a dime from from this project, I think we're going to be more than happy because it, it's something that we've been wanting to do for, you know, especially me. I know I know I've been wanting to do this for years now, and you know, like I said, we're we're people too. We're, we're doing this for the love of music and because we're doing what we want to do, and that you know we've been through some hard times and everything and people, and we understand people have been through those too. And we, you know, we're here to support those people as much as we can through our music. And, you know, we just, we just want people to see us for who we really are. You know, we're not some like 
big hotshot musicians and mm. and anything like that or in it for the money. You know, we're just we're here and we're we're just here to have a good time. So amazing. And uh, thanks, Cody, Danny, and Tony for giving me this wonderful opportunity to have this interview with you. It's real special to meet you guys today. And thanks for the amazing music that you've been giving and looking forward for Ed Long that's going to be released on March 4th and the album that is coming out on March 25th. And I wish you guys all the best and hope to see you guys on the road real soon. Thank you so much. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much, Keith. We really thank appreciate this opportunity. Yeah, and thank you. Thank, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having us on. It's a pleasure, Cody. And thanks again. And you have a great evening out there. Take care. Absolutely. Take care too, Keith. Bye. See ya. Bye.